the narcissist never really gets over you. It may look as though they have gotten over you very quickly. As though they have forgotten all about you and moved on with someone else. But that's just the illusion. And they are intentionally trying to distort your perception of reality. Because they don't want you to know the truth. They don't want you to have the satisfaction from knowing what they're really going through. They will act as though they're happy. They will act as though everything is going great. But if you look closely, it's always overstated. It's always forced and exaggerated. It doesn't seem natural. And the reason for that is because it's an orchestration. They have planned and coordinated the elements of the situation to produce the desired effect. But it isn't real. It exists only in their imagination, in this world that they have created in their minds. And they will do whatever they can in an attempt to take you along for the ride. But you have to trust your intuition and stay in tune with your senses to realise that it's all an act. The narcissist never really gets over you. And that is why they will often return and try to hoover you. They will try to suck you back into the relationship. The narcissist never moves on because unlike us, they are not willing to put the work in. When we are trying to move on from the narcissist, we look within and self-reflect. We take time to ourselves for healing. The narcissist doesn't do that. They are externally focused. And they are always pursuing people or things to self-medicate which only prolongs their healing, often for the rest of their lives. It prevents them from healing from any relationship they've ever had. And that is why, no matter how many years go by, they will always be thinking about their exes. They will still be talking about them and wondering where they are now and what they are doing. They will never move on because they don't do the inner work. Instead, they will move on to their next source of supply, usually while they're still in the process of discarding you. Narcissists believe that they don't need to do any inner work. They don't believe that they need to heal anything. Because in their minds, they're perfect. And everyone else is always the problem. If the relationship doesn't work out, it's never their fault. It's always because of something someone else has done to them. And they will often use this narrative to attract their next source of supply. Someone who will see them as a victim. Someone who will try to help them. When they move on to their next source, they usually want things to move faster and faster. If you were to check back with them after a few months, you may find that they've already got married or had children. 
And you may be wondering, how is that even possible when they were just talking to you a few months before? It's because it's all an act. It's an illusion. They haven't done the inner work and gone within to resolve anything from the past. And this has prevented them from being able to build a solid structure and foundation with a new source. You cannot build something new on top of the rubble of something old. You must first do the work to remove the remains of what is no longer there to start again and build something new. But narcissists don't take the time to do the inner work. They're lazy and in their minds they think they're perfect. They want everything to be fast and with minimal time and effort. So when they move on with their new source all of their old baggage goes with them. All of their past experiences. The feelings they have about their past and the things that have happened to them. And this then has a negative effect on their behaviour and attitudes. It causes a lot of problems in their new relationship. It causes a lot of fights. Because these are things that were never resolved. They never took the time to deal with any of those issues. So no matter how it looks from the outside, you can be sure that they are still dealing with the same problems with this new source. Whatever issues you were experiencing with them, I can assure you that it was not the first time that this came up. It's likely that they experienced the same problems with many people before you. And it's still going on now, even with this new source. It never goes away. Because they don't take the time to do the inner work. Which means that their feelings about the past are still there. They still feel something for you. Because they never took the time to look themselves. They never took the time to go within and self reflect. It's too painful for them to deal with. So there's never any change. They don't fix anything. They just brush it under the carpet. And act as though it isn't there. But it is still there and it continues to have an effect on their behaviour and attitudes. It continues to affect their lives. They never really get over you and that is why they will keep coming back to you. They will keep watching you. But they will hide. And act as though they're not really interested in you. Because of their inflated egos. Because of their pride and arrogance. But even if they're not hoovering you. They are secretly still watching you. They can't get enough of you. Anytime they see you. Anytime someone talks about you. It gives them fuel. It makes them feel alive. They can never move on with someone else. Because they're not willing to do the inner work. They can't develop real relationships with real intimacy because of all of their past emotional baggage. They keep bringing that into their current relationship.
and no one wants to deal with their negative attitudes and behaviours. So instead of trying to build something real, something that they know they are not capable of, they would rather just maintain an illusion of love, an illusion of happiness, an illusion of being over you. But they never experience real love. They never experience real happiness. And they never get over you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissmothercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.